Hi, my name is Braden Greenwald and I'm an engineer here at Redicop Manufacturing. And I'm here today to talk to you about maintaining your SCU. Although very little active maintenance is required to keep your seed control unit operating smoothly, it's very important to follow the maintenance schedule provided in the operator's manual to prevent costly repairs later on down the road. During the first 50 hours of operation for the seed control unit, it's really important to keep an eye on three key areas. The level of oil in the gearboxes and all of the hydraulic connections should be checked frequently for leaks. The drive belts should be checked frequently for correct tension and the drive shaft should be checked that it is locked tightly to the bearing. There are also some daily maintenance items you should perform on your seat control unit. On a daily basis, you should check the oil level in the sight glasses of each gearbox and check all of the hydraulic connections to make sure there are no leaks. Additionally, you should also check the drive belt tension to ensure that the tensioner is set correctly. The most critical part of your daily maintenance is to make sure to grease the main drive shaft. This is to prevent premature failure of the gearbox drive shaft. There is a grease zerk on the main drive shaft that should be greased on a 12 hour basis or every day, whichever is shorter. It's also a good idea at the end of every day to clean any residue off the top of the seed control unit to avoid building up any moisture. The entire seed control unit should be inspected visually to ensure that there is no loose hardware and no broken components. For weekly maintenance on the SCU, the center drive shaft between the two gearboxes should be greased every 50 hours. There is one grease zerk on each yoke and also a grease zerk on the center slide. There is also a grease zerk on the belt tensioner arm that should be greased every 50 hours as well. The SCU drive belt should be also checked on a weekly basis for wear and proper tension. At the end of each week, you should also open the inspection panels to have a look at your rotors and stators. You should inspect them for material buildup and signs of premature wear. You should also be looking for damage from foreign objects and other pieces of metal going through the stators. Damage to any of the stator or rotor bars could cause a catastrophic failure of the entire mill. At the end of the season, you should also drain both of the gearboxes and replace the oil in them. Additionally, you should check the suction filters for signs of debris. Other annual maintenance items include cleaning the interior and exterior of the SCU and inspecting the outside for signs of loose hardware or broken components. The rotors and stators should be inspected for signs of material buildup and premature wear, as well as the rotor fan blades and the scraper blades. If you do find signs of wear, this is the perfect time to reverse the rotors and the stators as they have been designed to work in both directions. And the main drive bearing should be inspected to ensure that the bearing is still good and that the lock collar is securely locked to the drive shaft itself. All of this information can be found in your operator's manual and you should refer to it often to ensure that the maintenance schedule is followed. This is critical to prevent premature wear and possible failure of your new seed control unit.